Kelly Mason and I am here at Pier 59 Studios with the Charlie Price and we just wrapped up Fashion Week uh, Fall Winter 2017 with the Beauty Underground. So Charlie is going to uh, hang out with us for a few minutes and give you guys a little bit of insight behind the scenes of Fashion Week. So Charlie has done some pretty revolutionary stuff with Fashion Week and giving stylists opportunities to do hair um, when they may have not been able to do it and it's their dream. So Charlie, can you tell us a little bit about why you decided to do co-sponsorship and maybe a little bit about what co-sponsoring means? Well, co-sponsoring means you have to pay. Because <laughs> what happens is uh, a long time ago, designers realized, probably 25 years ago, that the honor of doing hair and makeup became a marketing thing for the people doing it, so it's something that they could charge for. So we don't get paid by the designers, we pay them. Only the very, very small percentage, less than one percentage of hairstylists get paid by designers, and that would be at the very top level, like a video, Orlando Pita, Odeal, you know, that level. So we always sponsor the shows, meaning we pay the designers to uh, work with them, and then give everybody an opportunity to share in that. My personal situation was I used to own a salon and I used to work with a beta. So I had some money, a pool of, of income to be able to pay for that. I don't I don't work for a salon anymore and I don't own a salon and I um, don't work for a manufacturer. So I have to figure out a way to come up with hundred grand every every year out on the side. So we all do it together and that's kind of what Beauty Underground is all about is uh, grassroots crowdsourcing, whatever, however you want to look at it. Very democratic way of doing things. Very cool. That's really awesome that it gives so many stylists an opportunity to have. I'm from Midland, Michigan. Most people don't even know where that is, and they thought, it's, that's pretty crazy that you're going to try to do Fashion Week, and right. it's been awesome to be able to have the opportunity to, to do that in my own way. Thank you. So, Charlie, you've been across the board with dipping your toe in just about every Sloan owner, stylist, Fashion Week, yeah. Naha winner. Um, do you think it's important for stylists who are working behind the chair to experience a little bit of all the different things to keep up with the changing industry? I don't think you have to, but I think that's one of the things that is so great about our career is that there are so many avenues we can take. Um, and for me, it's what keeps me interested. I mean, you know, a lot of people stop doing hair and become flight attendants. To me, I haven't even Nurses. specialized. Right, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Dental hygienist. So, which I don't understand. But um, I just get, I, you know, that variety is what keeps me going. Just when I'm sick of my my behind the chair life, I can come do fashion week or hair show or photo shoot, whatever. I yeah. mean, it's all it's all different stimulation. Because you're still behind the chair, right? I work behind the chair two or three days a week when I'm in town. So you're just like us. I, She's oh, just like us. Totally, I'm a hairdresser, hairdresser. So, so many stylists these days uh, go to beauty school, they get out on the floor at a salon, and they work for two years, and then they quit because either either they're not making enough money, they um, realize that it wasn't for them for whatever reason, even though that's kind of crazy because we have the best job in the world. Yes. Um, what would your advice be to a young stylist either in cosmetology school or somebody who's just getting out onto the floor um, to get them going in the right direction and ultimately make money to be a successful career? Two years, first of all, is not enough time to decide. You're not even going to get busy in two years, so you're, you're quitting before you even get started. Uh, what I would say to somebody that's um, just starting out is to immerse yourself in the industry, whether that means going to as many classes as you can, assisting anyone you can, reading your trade magazines, coming to Fashion Week, photographing your work, uh, just seeing kind of what's out there, and then also setting goals. Setting three month goals, six month goals, one year goals, two year goals, five year goals, and then where would you like to be ultimately? Because if you have no idea where you want to go, you'll never get there. Oh, I love that. So you've got to write it down. So true. Get, get together with yourself and nobody else that's going to influence you and write down, why am I doing this? What, what does success mean to me? Yeah, because it could be so many different things as we talked about. There's so many variety. Yeah, totally. So what makes Beauty Underground and the program that you've implemented so, many, so much different than others? 
what I like to do with Beauty Underground is just bring people in and just let them get in there and work. Yeah. You know, you so don't that's have what they to, want to do anyway. They want to do the hair. Yeah, you don't have to, like, for instance, with Fashion Week, um, you're coming in and working right by side the artistic team members, and really we're facilitating. So what we do is we bring everybody together, as you know, with mannequins. We talk about the designer. We talk about how things work, the etiquette, the protocol. Um, just the way the Fashion Week works. And I think that that's something that for many years I didn't understand and it took me a long time to figure out. I never knew if the people that I was working with liked me, if they were happy with what I was doing, um, if I was going to be asked back. And also we have to remember that the people that you assist on Fashion Weeks aren't educators. So what I wanted to do is change the experience. I wanted people to be a lot happier, quicker than I was. Um, because for, for I was just tired of getting on a plane and being like teary eyed thinking, why am I doing this? You know, I'm, I'm kind of being abused and beaten up a little bit. So um, I want people to come work with us and be immersed in it, do hair from the minute that they they start with us and um, come back and fall in love with us. I don't want them to be scared of us. Well, a little. I want to be just a little scared. Yeah, so kind of doing the co-sponsoring is sort of like getting a hands-on class with the best of the best. And then being like thrown into it and like, hey, go fly, honey. Go do it. Go do it. And then, oh, yeah.